Instead of only constant reminders to avoid bad life choices, the Police Eastern Division's command is also providing 10 children with positive opportunities. All of them were handpicked as shining beacons in tough crime neighborhoods because they have great potential if they are only given the proper financial support to pursue them. So that's why they're being given scholarships to continue their education. When we see sometimes kids getting scholarships, sometimes it's not the right kids. Many times it comes through somebody who knows you, but the mother would just say, okay, I could um, go to casino now and um, spend that money that I would have spent on my kid. We see people of influence getting scholarships and it's unfair. It, it touches my heart. When I ask the community policing officers, and I'm only the strategic leader, they are the people who go out and, and I told them if there's one person who is related to any of you here who gets a scholarship, you'll move from community policing because we want the people who need it the most. And I could tell you, these are some of the people who need it the most. As a matter of fact, there are kids here who is without a parent or both parents and living with, with, with foster care, be it grandparents or, or, or a neighbor or so. So we are so happy to be doing this. It For this particular initiative, ACP Gillett and his team collaborated with the Social Security Board, which is among the donors who are funding the children and their studies. The first emotion that we feel is definitely pride. You know, We are proud to partner with the police department in this initiative of empowering communities because we know that if you empower one, you empower a whole community. So any initiatives, any activities that exist, Social Security stands ready to assist those. So when Mr. Gillette reached out, you know, telling us about this, um, this initiative, him wanting to bless these communities and to change the trajectory of these children's lives, we could not resist and we could not turn down the opportunity. So we are here, we are proud of what we've done and we look forward to the future of these children. We got a chance to meet one of the recipients who continues to excel despite tough personal challenges. It will be a huge relief, um, especially for my mom taking a huge load off her sh um, shoulders. Um, I really want to thank the sponsors and the police department once again and God for allowing me this opportunity along with the other recipients. I was getting disappointed too because this, this would be the third time, you know, that we have um, applied for a scholarship. And I said, well, we just were going to leave it up to God and whatever he says, if, you know, if we get it, we get it. If not, we just keep on trying. Nothing, you know, beats a try and with God, all things are possible. And that's what I teach my son, you know, as a single mother, a mother and a father. Because his father was, um, was murdered through um, gun violence, you know. So we know what it is, you know, and the area that we come from. And that is why, you know, I instilled in him um, to do the right thing, to turn to God, you know, not to, to be a leader, not a follower. I've known kids from the gang areas who have turned out and having their bachelor's degree, their master's degree. So don't let the circumstance, don't let where you live or the problems you see in your community affect you permanently. So it's, it pleases my heart and the hearts of our police officers, especially in the Belize district, to see young people and, and the emotions coming because many of them who are here, if not all, would not have made it to high school if we didn't intervene. So we're very, very happy to the sponsors who are ready to say yes, we want to help young people. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.